Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session of Friday, 20th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the uh, the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, looking at the stats and the numbers for today, the Asian market is certainly positive overnight, especially due to the Chinese economic data coming in in line. And slightly beating forecasts, we had the uh, Nikkei up by 65 points. We had the Shanghai up 0.7%. Although the Hang Seng was certainly negative overnight, which is certainly a uh, a mixed signal there from the Chinese session. Now, in terms of the uh, European markets, the stats and the data at present is uh, FTSE is up seven points. Although uh, it has been volatile due to the uh, uh, retail sales coming in negative, the German DAX is up 36 points. Certainly very strong and very stellar this morning. CAC 40 and the IBEX along with the stocks and the uh, FTSE MIB as well, certainly higher. In terms of the uh, euro at the moment, we did have a uh, rally up to 1.07 on the back of obviously fears of Mr. Trump's inauguration, uh, leading to a weaker dollar, even though uh, Mr. Draghi was certainly dovish. Uh, it certainly isn't having an impact at all, so it certainly is being negated by Mr. Trump's concerns. So, in terms of the uh, European indices, certainly positive on the back of stronger Chinese data, but like I said, weaker retail sales certainly hurting sentiment. And we'll see whether or not Mr. Trump's inauguration will actually trigger off the uh, by the uh, obviously sell the fact type news. Let's bring up the German DAX. Uh, let me just see if I've missed out anything in terms of uh, economic data. No. Okay, German in, uh, inflation data certainly coming in line. Okay, in terms of the rest of the day, we have FOMC, Mr. Harker, President or uh, Trump. I call him President Trump, not Trump. He's a Trump. Okay, given his uh, his, his his insightful, uh, misogynist, sexist, racist. I mean, xenophobic. I mean, this guy is is probably the biggest big big bigot I think in in the twentieth century. I mean. Really, he's a modern-day Hitler, really, isn't he? I mean, it's uh, he's going to divide America and destroy America, from my perspective. It's make America uh, worse again. That's probably his uh, rhetoric. Either way, he's an idiot, uh, and let's see how long he lasts. It's not long. From my perspective, I'm forecasting six months max before he gets impeached and overthrown. Okay, so he's an absolute dimwit. Okay, so anyway, um, going back to the uh, the actual German DAX here, let's just look at the market daily chart. Uh, present on the German DAX certainly is uh, bearish. A horizontal resistance here, okay, certainly holding on the German DAX. 60-minute chart, uh, you have gap fill resistance, certainly holding. From my perspective, that certainly will hold, and you will look for a potential flush lower. 10-minute chart, at the moment, we've obviously retraced up to that Fib 75%. Certainly has been a thrust from the low at 11,550, okay, an impressive thrust at that, and certainly are coming into resistance. And we'll see whether or not the NASDAQ can actually sustain itself, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC here, folks. We are now into resistance on the French CAC on the uh, horizontal resistance zone on the 10-minute chart. Okay, so let's just see exactly how the markets unfold there. Certainly have held support. So we're oscillating between the two resistance zones at 4870 down to 4820. Okay, looking at the 60-minute chart at the moment, really is mixed. Okay, certainly is mixed here. You certainly have resistance and support. So you have... This level here and this level here. So these are levels that we are going to observe and keep an eye out for. Okay. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100 weekly chart, certainly bearish engulfing. So it's not exactly a bullish sign. Daily chart, we already know it's broken the uh, bullish wedge, looking to potentially go lower and close the gap at 7120. That's the ultimate aim. 60 minute chart, we are breaking out of this falling contracting wedge pattern, but. Uh, given the weaker retail sales, one would expect the gaps to close below. So certainly looking for that 200 MA to be here at 7160 on the FTSE 100. The 10 minute chart is certainly is showing bullishness, certainly has held at 7196 support and certainly is thrusting higher. But I'm still expecting a flush lower on the back of weaker retail sales and the US markets topping out given Mr. Trump's uh, uh, inauguration okay right okay so that certainly seems to be a summation of uh, the uh, equity market again it's mr trump's on well basically lady the trump's organization uh, inauguration let's see how it unfolds okay uh, you probably will uh, end up saying something that will humiliate him and his party as well so uh, really is a dim whip either way um, we are looking at weakness from my perspective and we shall see whether or not the european markets can top out led by the german dax on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye.